I tell you, I'm here because I'm excited to be here. Uh, people from outside of Hawaii Island, uh, I can never express uh, what this means to us. Spirits are high at the Imiloa Complex in Hilo as community and healthcare leaders celebrate the launch of a collaboration aimed at increasing the number of physicians and the capacity of medical services available to the Big Island's rural and underserved population. I cannot say enough of how much of a breakthrough this is, is for Hawaii people and especially the doctors who have been pushing for this kind of help all of these years. And truthfully, I think uh, you can sense it. We're all very excited about today. The University of Hawaii's Medical School has teamed up with Hilo Medical Center and Hilo Bay Clinic to establish the first ever OBGYN clinical rotation on Hawaii Island. In 2018, doctors in their third year of postgraduate medical education will have the opportunity to relocate to Hilo and treat patients. Well, the hope is, in addition to providing the local providers with a avenue to update and keep up to date with various medical technologies and skills, it'll also hopefully lead to more providers choosing to practice in Hilo uh, specifically after they complete their training. The Hawaii Physician Workforce Assessment estimates that Hawaii Island has 20% fewer doctors than it needs to serve its current population. The John A. Burns School of Medicine hopes that after training in East Hawaii, MDs will consider opening their own practice there. You look at the mission of what we're here for, and it's to provide you know, care and care for the people of the state. And for a long time, that focus has been very Oahu-centric. And I think it would be a nice move to start to look toward trying to really fulfill the mission and what it's supposed to do and really look at the entire state as a whole to try and get our providers out where they're needed, which is usually neighbor islands and rural communities. OBGYN is um, so much needed you know, for, for the region. Um, and as we've heard, you know, most of us have been, you know, going to Oahu and many other women as well, um, you know, to get the kind of health care uh, that we need for uh, women's health issues. Um, but I'm so pleased that we're at the brink of another chapter in the life of healthcare for East Hawaii. Assistant clinical professor Dr. Kareem Kozaim understands just how urgent the need for accessible healthcare is on neighbor islands. He will be the first OBGYN physician headed to Hilo to teach future residents. I think uh, one of the biggest challenges in a rural community is uh, transferring patients to Honolulu who have uh, critical conditions. And I hope that as this collaboration develops and matures, we will be able to keep more of these patients here, treat them here, um, develop our own talent, you could say, and um, our cap local capacity um, so that we, don't, we aren't so reliant on Honolulu for um, subspecialists or, or other critical needs. I think it's a very, very uh, fortunate thing that is happening because I think it will elevate the level of women's health here in Hilo and also uh, be able to make uh, sustainable bringing new physicians, uh, exposing them to our wonderful community and uh, hopefully helping get more future doctors here. I'm truly uh, appreciative of the uh, vision of our Dean Hedges to try and uh, put faculty on the outer islands because it certainly is a, a opportunity for us to uh, improve health care and uh, improve access to care and like I said uh, help us to probably sustain uh, having more physicians come to Hilo. We are painfully aware of the shortage of physicians in Hawaii, particularly on the neighbor islands, and so we're delighted to see this creative, collaborative approach that the medical school is taking in order to improve access to care for our community and our, our people in, in the Hilo area.